Since I started this YouTube channel, many people have asked many times, there are so many varieties of matcha. What brand of matcha do you recommend? I drink matcha every day, but I also don't know which matcha is the best because there are so many different kinds. So today, I'd like to compare 10 different matcha brands that are popular in Japan and overseas. And I personally want to decide which is the most delicious matcha. I think this video will then help you choose the matcha to try for yourself. So please watch this video until the end. So these are the 10 matcha brands that I chose. The first four matcha are also available on Amazon USA. I will link them in the description below. Number 1. Matcha Moon This is an organic matcha made in the Uji area, which is one of the most popular matcha harvesting areas in Japan. The reviews were very high on Amazon, so I decided to buy it. Number 2. Sayaka no Mukashi by Ippodo Ippodo is one of the most famous tea stores in Kyoto. This is the original blend from that shop. I've always wanted to drink it. Number 3. Do matcha. The leaves were harvested in the summer instead of spring, but it had really good reviews, so I was interested in it. Number 4. Bi Yuki Matcha. This is Uji's organic matcha, which was also popular in Japanese online stores. To be honest, there were other matcha that I was interested in, but I couldn't get them because some matcha brands sold overseas are often not available in Japan. However, instead, I searched Japanese online websites for popular matcha and carefully selected five other brands. Number 5. Wako by Koyamaen. Koyamaen is one of the most popular tea companies in Japan. So, this company's matcha is often used when we do tea ceremonies. Number 6. Undu. This matcha is ranked high on various websites, so I chose this as well. Number 7. Koksan Yuki Matcha. This is a pesticide free matcha that is so rare in Japan. I wondered what it would taste like. Number 8. Oyocha Uji Matcha. This is a product of Itoen, which is also one of the most popular tea companies in Japan. I was interested in the flavor of this matcha because the leaves are stone milled. Number 9. Shizuoka Matcha. Matcha is made not only in Uji but also in other areas. This is from Shizuoka, which is another famous tea harvesting location. Number 10. Hizo Denlai. Finally, the last one is matcha that was used by the company that I worked for when I lived in Canada. This matcha is made in Yame, Fukuoka in Japan. Yame is the most famous place for producing gyokuro, which is said to be the highest quality of green tea. This is the matcha that is produced from that area. This is the list of all the match brands and their listed prices. This time, I chose the popular matchas without thinking much about the price. So I'm gonna explain how to compare them. First, I'm gonna prepare 10 cups and add matcha to each of them. And write the name of the brand on the sticky note and stick it under the cup. After that, I'll randomly rearrange them so that I won't be able to tell which is which. Then make matcha one by one in exactly the same way. I'm going to add 2 grams of matcha, add 90 grams of hot water at 65 degrees Celsius and I whisk for 15 seconds. Then I drink it and compare the taste. When I'm done drinking, I'll place the cup on the chart. Once all the cups are on the chart, I'll check the name on the sticky note to see which is which. My favorite type of matcha is rich and sweet, so matcha place in this area is kind of the best type of matcha for me. By the way, I'm gonna eat Japanese sweet, which is called higashi between matcha and next matcha to rest my taste buds. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first one is this one. I don't know what it is. The drums. Wow, this is so kind of light. No bitterness, but not so sweet. Matcha, 
あー面白い。Not rich, kind of light taste, and then also not that bitter, not that sweet. This one can be here. Rest of the matcha should be here. If I drink all the matcha, I'm gonna be crazy. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna drink this later or tomorrow. So, before I drink it, I'm gonna eat this wagashi. Mmm, sweet. Wow, so aromatic. すごく香ばしい味がします。すごく苦いですね。この辺でいこうかな。おお、飲みやすい。Oh my gosh, this is really easy to drink. Wow, this must be a good one. I love this. I love this. Wow, this smells of matcha really makes me hungry. 飲みやすさは普通のグリーンティーと変わらないんですけど、プラスなんか抹茶のその濃厚さみたいなのが、えー、味わえてとても美味しいです。飲みやすい。This one is richer than this matcha. Can be here. This must be a kind of like organic one. なんだろすごく<笑>葉っぱ臭さが残ってて無農薬とかオーガニックみたいな、えー、抹茶だと思います。うん、kind of earthy and the color is kind of light. Wow, it's super bitter. もう 100% じゃないですけど、おそらくこれ無農薬の抹茶だと思います。外してたらごめんなさい。Here. Oh shit. Too much caffeine. Oh, look at this. So cute. Mmm. Just the nigami ga arimas. Nigami ga atte light no kanji des. Tamo kore mo organic no matcha da to moimas. Mmm. So aromatic. Oh my gosh. Oji. これは一番美味しいかも。めちゃめちゃ美味しい。うんうん。This must be a high quality one. 京都とかのお寺とかで出される抹茶の味がしますね。さっきからゲップが止まらないんですよ。僕人生でこんな抹茶飲んだら初めてかもしれないですね。うん。This matcha is kind of like refreshing. Not that rich, not that light, not that sweet, not that bitter, so kind of like middle one. <笑> Finally, the last one. This one. Mmm, aromatic. 飲みやすいですね。濃厚な味わい。多分この辺。Mmm. So I'd like to announce the result, but before that, I'm gonna be sharing the colors of each matcha. If you place much powder on white paper in this way, you can see only these three are a little light green. And the rest are about the same vibrant green. Matcha that has vibrant green color is considered to be high quality matcha. So if you look only at the colors, these seven are possibly high quality matcha. Looking at the actual prices, these seven are pretty high, and these three were cheaper. You can also see how fine it is when you spread it out with your fingers. You can see that these four are finely ground because they spread out well. How do these colors and textures affect the taste? It's time to announce the result. Think from this side. This one, Kokusan Yuki Matcha, ですね This one. The next one is Wako. Okay. Next, this one is Shizuoka Matcha. So this one is Do Matcha. Do Matcha. So the next one, Bi Yuki. Okay. Next, so this one is Unryu. はい、Next one はいおおさやかの昔 OK Finally the top three So this one is おおマチャムーン This one OK let's shoot this one So this one is おいお茶 This one Then last one is いぞうでんらい Alright so this is it So, this is the final result. If I had to make the rank, it would be like this. Number 10, Kokusan Yuki Matcha. I mentioned this in the previous video clip, like, I'm glad it was correct. Basically, pesticide free matcha is eaten by i n s e c t unless the tea leaves themselves are bitter. So it's understandable this Koksan Yuki Matcha is bitter. Number 9, Shizuoka Matcha. 
I said this in the previous clip, like this must be a kind of like organic one, but it wasn't. It's not an organic one. This was the cheapest matcha, so I think the taste is reasonable. Number eight, wako. So this matcha was kind of bitter and had a light taste. Koyama M is one of the famous tea stores in Japan, so I thought this was of high quality and tasty. It was a little bit surprising. Number seven, do matcha. Hmm. So this is the summer harvest matcha, so I think the quality is not better than other ones. However, it still had a rich and great taste. Plus, the price is affordable and also organic. So I think this matcha would be great as an everyday drink. Number six, Biyuki matcha. So this was an easy to drink matcha, and it was a matcha that is not so bitter and has a light taste. I love it. Number five, Undu. This was just normal great matcha. The price was also reasonable. Now I understand why it's popular on many shopping websites in Japan. Number four, Sayaka no Mukashi by Ippodo. So this is the matcha that I was curious about, and it turned out to be a very rich matcha. No konajuai. I love it. Number three, Matcha Moon. It's no wonder that it was highly rated on Amazon. In my experience, organic matcha has the impression that uh, it's light in color and bitter in taste. However, this matcha moon is organic. It's a rich and easy to drink matcha with very little bitterness. So I would buy this matcha if I lived abroad. Number two, Oyocha Uji Matcha. Surprisingly, this matcha is very cheap. However, the taste was very mild and delicious. Since it's a matcha made by a major tea company, it may be possible to make good quality matcha at a low price. Also, I wondered if this is because this was stone milk. It had an effect on the taste. Number one, Hizo Denlai. So this matcha was great in every category. The color is a beautiful green and the powder is fine. So it was a matcha with a rich taste and almost no bitterness, uh, which is my favorite taste. By the way, I've actually visited and worked at this farm. I know how much the farmers love matcha. So I'm really happy that this matcha ranked first in this comparison. After the experiment, I found that the taste of matcha is more closely related to the color of matcha rather than the price or fineness. As you can see from the table, the beautiful green ones tend to be sweet, while the light green matcha tends to have a bitterness. According to a matcha farmer I know said, there are various reasons, but one of them is related to fertilizer. By nourishing with the fertilizer, matcha turns green, and at the same time, it becomes sweet and delicious. On the other hand, if you don't give it much fertilizer, it will turn light green and the taste will tend to be bitter. So if you want to drink delicious matcha, beautiful vibrant green matcha might be great. However, he also said, if the leaves of matcha are sweet, not only humans, but also insects would love them. So you have to use pesticides. So considering drinking matcha in a healthy way, I think it would be better to drink organic or pesticide-free matcha as much as possible. So today I tried to compare 10 different kinds of matcha. Through this experiment, I found various types of matcha. Mm. But there are still many types of matcha in the world I want to try. So next time I'd like to compare matcha depending on the variety or like collecting only high quality matcha and compare them. I hope this video will help you choose a matcha brand to try even a little. So if you like these kinds of videos, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe, have fun and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!